Those familiar with my previous videos know I have deep dived into route navigation and turn by turn cues on GPS bike head units. Now, these ones I'll point out are the Wahoo units. Pretty easy to get it all sorted out on these with third party app integration built in from day one from scratch. So ride with GPS and things like Komoot, already syncing, already working on here. Now, the struggle has been on the Garmin devices. Now these can import GPX and do it a little differently, but route planning and things like that is a little bit harder with these, especially with third party app integration. So Komoot have used Connect IQ. I had a suspicion somebody would come out with a Connect IQ app to sync routes and make their thing a lot smoother and a lot faster. Komoot have done it. Yesterday announcing their partnership in collaboration with Garmin using Connect IQ, etc. etc. So Komoot itself, if you're not familiar with Komoot, they are a think if you know Ride with GPS, they do the same kind of thing, almost the same as Strava as well. So you can jump on, do a route plan, point to point with cues, sync them. They have their own apps and things like that as well. But if it, you just want to plan a route and upload it to a device, here's how it's done via Connect IQ. So for today's brief overview, I have installed the Connect IQ app on my 520, my 820, and my 4Runner 935. And we'll go through syncing a route that I've created just out the road here, which I call the Bunningyong Loop. It's a 10 kilometer loop with a big hill in the middle. So that route's now created on Komoot. I have the Connect IQ app on all those edge devices and the Forerunner. Now I'll load up the app, we'll do the sync, we'll hit go and see how easy it actually is. Let's have a look. Okay, the 500 is booted up first, so we'll go down to Connect IQ. Everything's lighting up like a Christmas tree. Okay, uh, phone connected, cool. So under the Commute Connect IQ app. And there are my routes or courses that I've already created on Commute. So I have four of them there. I'm going to choose to download the Bunning Yong Loop. And we're done. And from there, you can launch course within here with whichever profile I have loaded. And away it'll go. But what I'll show you is where it also downloads them to. So you can exit the Komoot app. And now if you go to Training, Courses, the Bunning Yong Loop is now a selectable course within the options, so it's easy as that. That's how it syncs on the 520. Let's have a look at a map of that. There we go. And the elevation. Which is a bit skewed with the screen res, but that's kind of what it looks like. Okay, we'll leave that on map. Okay, over to the 820. Connect IQ from the menus, Komoot. And Bunny on comes up as number one, so very similar to the 520. Downloaded, bang, super fast. Again, launch course with whichever you want, but it now also becomes a selectable route once we exit the app here. Navigation. Courses, Saved Courses, and the Bunny on Loop is there. With the map, which should be similar to these two. A little bit more detail on that one straight away. Elevation, identical. Okay, cool. Easy as that, but if we do select this and it knows we're nowhere near the course. Do we want to route to the beginning of the course? And yes, we can from here. Once we have satellites, but we're out the road a little bit from the Bunning on course on the fly navigation with the Garmin units is pretty handy. Over to the Forerunner. Down to Komoot.
a little bit more time to load on this watch. Now this is a ride, you can also do a run as well. Uh, option there to download the route, so I just hit download there. It's a little slower on the uh, 935 than these other two units here. Okay, that's now downloaded, I can hit start. We can run that route. And away we go. Now, we're nowhere near that route at the moment, so that's why it's not coming up on screen. Can go back. But we can also choose navigate courses, and the bunny on course is now on the watch. That is a ride. You can load runs, hikes, anything you like. If we have a look at the map on there, that should show us. So there we are. There's the three maps on the three different units, all synced from the Bunningyong loop that I created within the Komoot web app. So there you have it, the process of downloading those routes on the Edge 520, 820, and Forerunner 935. Once everything's lined up, it's a pretty simple process and good to go, but yeah, it's just getting that thing connected for your Connect IQ, your Komoot authentication, the app downloaded, and you're likely gonna be uploading that to Strava at the end of the day. So there's a bit of a web there to weave, but once it's right to go, you'll be catching some going on routes. Okay, enjoy, and uh, I'll put a link to the Bunningyong loop below as well. So those who are handy with indoor trainers and courses, you can re-ride this course. I think that might be a video in itself. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.